Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this beautiful flat angel, which is about six inches tall. I will be using white cotton thread size 10, and my hook is 1.95 millimeters. We are going to start here with chain five made into a loop, and then in that loop, we'll make 12 double crochet stitches separated by chain one. So start with chain five, one, two, three, four, five, a slip stitch in the first chain, And now double crochet stitches. The first double crochet is chain three and chain one for separation. Now I'm going to work this uh, thread in and uh, make double crochets and uh, chain one, a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, chain one. I have made four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 chain one and the slip stitch in the third chain 12 double crochets the most commonly used stitch in this pattern is a shell normally a shell consists of two double crochets chain two and two double crochets but in some of those shells, we'll be making chain three instead of chain two, like in these shells used for the head. In the next round of the head, we'll make six shells like this using every other chain of the previous round. And we'll also make a loop hanger in this round. First, let's make a slip stitch. Now chain three instead of first double crochet, another double, chain three, and two more double crochets in the same chain one space. Now skip one chain one and in the next chain one space make the same shell consisting of two double crochets, chain three, and uh, two double crochets. Skip chain one, in the next one, make two double crochets. And now we'll make a loop hanger. For loop hanger, we'll be making chains about, um, 30 or 35, I've made 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, I'll make three more. And now, because we need this chain three between the groups of two double crochets, we'll make a slip stitch in the second chain from the last stitch. So this is a slip stitch and the chain one. And now we'll finish this shell, making two double crochets. So I have made three shells so far with chain three in the middle continue working please make three more 
at the end of the round after you made the last shell make a slip stitch in the third chain the head is finished now we'll make a neck using this last shell first of all a slip stitch in the first of these two double crochets chain one instead of the first single crochet and a single crochet in the next double crochet two single crochets and chain three space and two single crochets and two double crochets this is the neck six single crochets now we'll start working on torso and wings for the torso we'll make four double crochets and for the wings two double crochets on both sides separated by chain two so we'll start with chain three as the first double crochet and uh, chain two for separation and on the other side we'll make a double crochet in the same stitch chain two again and now in the next four single crochets we'll make double crochets one two working stitch and stitch three four chain two and in the last stitch we'll make two double crochets one chain two and one more like this now in each chain two space we'll make a shell this time a regular shell with chain two in the middle and um, in the torso area we'll be making six double crochets start with chain three and make a double crochet and chain two space this is the beginning of the first shell we are making the first double crochet in the previous double crochet not in chain two space in order to make this line uh, more smooth chain two and two double crochets in the same chain two space and now a shell in the next chain two space two double crochets chain two and uh, two double crochets chain one to separate the wings from the body now two double crochets in the first double crochet two times stitch and stitch a double crochet a double crochet and two double crochets in the last one chain one a shell in the chain two space and another shell in the last chain two space two double crochets chain two one double crochet and the last one once again in order to make this line smooth uh, we'll be making in the third chain of the previous row like this in the next row we'll continue widening the torso we'll make eight double crochets and here in the wings we'll continue making two shells but this time 
they will be chain two between them and will also add one double crochet here at the beginning and at the end of the row. As usual, at the beginning, instead of the first double crochet, we'll make chain three, and then we'll make chain two to separate this double crochet from the shell, which we'll be making in this chain two space in the shell of the previous row. So two double crochets, chain two, and uh, two double crochets. chain two a shell in the next chain two space chain two and now we are working in these six double crochets we'll make two double crochets in the first double then four double crochets stitch and stitch one two three four and two in the last one chain two and continue this pattern please make two more shells and after the last one make chain two and a double crochet in third beginning chain this is what it looks like now and in the next row we'll be making five shells in each of the chain two spaces and we'll separate those shells with one chain and here in the middle we won't make any increases anymore we'll just make eight double crochet stitches chain three as usual at the beginning and now another double crochet in uh, this first chain two space chain two and uh, two double crochets in the same chain two space chain one now we are working in the shell in the chain two space of the shell making another shell chain one the next shell will go in chain two space between the shells. Two double crochets, chain two. Two double crochets. Chain one. Shell in the shell. chain one and the last shell in this last chain two space chain one and eight double crochets three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one, and uh, continue making the second wing on your own please 
at the end, do not forget to make in this chain two space to make two double crochets, chain two, one double crochet, and the last double crochet will go in this third beginning chain. In the last row of the wings, we'll be making the same groups of two double crochets, but this time chain three and two double crochets, and then chain two, a single crochet, chain two between those shells. And here in the middle, we'll make eight single crochets. We'll start with chain three, and now a shell in the shell, but after two double crochets, we'll make chain three and the two double crochets again. Chain two, a single crochet here in chain one space between the shells, chain two, another shell with chain three, in the shell, chain two, a single crochet, chain two, another shell, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, Chain two, a single crochet, chain two, one more shell in the shell, chain three, two double crochets, chain two a single crochet, chain two, and the last, the fifth shell on this side, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, chain two, now a single crochet in this chain one space, a single crochet in each of eight double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and a single crochet in this chain one space, chain two, and continue following this pattern, make five more shells with chain three in the middle uh, on the other side, and after the last shell, make a double crochet in the third beginning chain. Now we'll start working on the skirt, and in the first two rows of the skirt, we'll be making eight double crochets in each row. But in the second one, those double crochets are going to be separated by chain one. Here we have 10 single crochets, so skip the first one, attach the thread and make chain three. And then working this thread in, Continue making double crochets. I have made three, four, five, six. seven and eight. 
now chain three and chain one for separation and uh, double crochet in each double crochet with chain one between them chain one I have made four five six seven and the last one in the third beginning chain eight In the third row, in each of uh, those chain one spaces, we'll be making groups of two double crochets, also separated by chain one. So we'll have seven of those groups. Chain three as the first double crochet. In the second, we'll go in this chain one space. Chain one. In the next chain one space, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, chain one, five groups, six chain one and the last one once again we are making one double crochet and the next one will go in the third beginning chain to make a nice smooth line here on the side now we'll start making shells again and in each row there will be six shells and also we'll add a double crochet stitch on each side of the skirt. Chain three will be our first double crochet. And now a usual shell in this chain one space. It's two double crochets, chain two and uh, two double crochets. The same in the next chain one space, two double crochets, chain two, and uh, two double crochets. Continue working this way, please. Make four more shells, and then after the last shell, make a double crochet in this third beginning chain and then make another row exactly like this this time making shells in this chain two spaces this is what the skirt looks like uh, now after i finished five rows the next two rows are made almost the same way but between the shells we'll be making chain one that's why we'll start with chain four instead of chain three which is double crochet and chain one now a shell in the shell of the previous row chain two two double crochets chain one a shell in the next shell chain one and continue this pattern please at the end of this row make chain one and a double crochet in the third chain of the previous round and then make another row like this 
Now we are here at the end of the seventh row and need to make two more similar rows, but this time with chain two between the shells. So this time we'll start with chain five, a double crochet plus chain two, a shell in the shell, chain two, chain two between the shells, a shell in the next shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and continue this pattern. At the end, make chain two and a double crochet in the third chain, and after that, another row like this. In row number 10, between the shells, we'll start making chain three, a single crochet in chain two space, and chain three. Once again, we'll start with chain five, and uh, a shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain three, a single crochet in this chain two space between the shells, chain three, another shell in the shell, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain three, a single crochet in this chain two space, chain three. Continue this row, please, just one, and at the end of it, make chain two and a double crochet in this third chain. And now the last row of the skirt, where we'll be making shells with chain three in the middle, like we did here in the wings. And between the shells, there will be chain four, a single crochet in the single crochet, and chain four. This time we'll start with chain three. In the shell, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, chain four, a single crochet in the single crochet, chain four. In the next shell, we are making two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, chain four, a single crochet in the single crochet, chain four. And continue working on the last row of the skirt this way. At the end, after the last shell, just make a double crochet in the third beginning chain and then cut off and um, fasten off all the ends of the thread. Now the angel needs to be starched or hardened using any other method. I have a video on my channel about how to do it. Watch it if you want to. Then it needs to be stretched, uh, pinned using non-rusting pins, and uh, left to dry, and uh, then ironed uh, through a cotton cloth. This is it for today.
If you liked the video, please push the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet but would like to be informed of all the new developments, consider subscribing and pushing the notification button. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.